Kevin McCloskey, Billy Woodward, O-Line Sports Stable Talk, week number four, the end of the non-conference play. Billy, the Stallions pick up a nice win tonight, 55-12 to over the Goldsboro Cougars. We were just talking off camera about Goldsboro. Um, you know, we, we just comparing, like, say, when we play Jacksonville, and Jacksonville's kind of like from a talent and size perspective up here, we're down here a little bit. The tables were reversed tonight. The Stallions were physically superior to Goldsboro, and it showed. Um, what are your general thoughts on the game? Well, talking about, first of all, the Cougars, their first three games of the season, Farmville Central, South Wayne, Southern Wayne, and Nashville Central. Nashville Central, so, you know, the, the same type of deal. They yeah. were playing 3A and 4A teams, and that's what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so, but I'm, I'm telling you, though, they, they, they put up a fight in that first half. I thought we would be up a little more than 21 to nothing mm -hmm. at halftime. I was a little concerned, but... Uh, the Stallions came out in that second half and put on the show. Yeah, especially later in the game, they closed it out, and the subs played really, really well, and we're and proud of the, the running game. Um, let's talk about the big thing. There's a big switch. Now, last week, Coach Dempsey changed the offense around. This time, there were big shifts as far as players, with Pittman moving in at quarterback, Randolph moving to the slot, paid dividends immediately with a long touchdown on the first play from scrimmage, and then two more touchdowns that Randolph added. I love the move personally. I, you know, we talked about it last week, and then not only that, you've got Tate in the background with the other mm -hmm. running back, and that looked more like the stallions of old times yeah. with uh, coming out of the stables, all the horses coming out, mm -hmm. and then when they think they've got them there, there goes the pass. Now, Phil Padgett's probably rolled it over <laughs> his grave tonight with as many passes as have been thrown because he did not like the pass as much. But... Tonight, in this one here, it's good to see a little mix-up of both of them. Mm -hmm. And it gives Wallace Rose Hill, when they see the film on this, uh, that they've now got to look for that deal. Again, I'm, I like the move of Pittman where he's at and helping Tyler as well. And like you mentioned, with Whitehead in the background, he's the thunder to the lightning of the quickness of the other backs. And about the passing game, too. Pretty safe passes for the most part, but we were able to go vertical. And as Coach Dempsey mentioned, we've got – Six foot two, six foot three inch basketball players playing a wide out who are very athletic. Might as well take advantage of them and throw it to them up high and let them go point the ball and bring it in. I mean, Absolutely. It's one of those things that if you've got the advantage, take advantage of it while you can and yeah. get things going here before we get into conference play, which starts next Friday night. Yeah. So, all right. We're going to cut it short since it is a Thursday and we got to work tomorrow. But yeah. uh, we will see you next Friday at Wallace and things get real then, people. Have a good night. Good crowd here tonight. Let's hope they travel. Thank you. Go good, 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 good job tonight, Stallion fans.